Welcome to Jazz Piano Daily number 61. Today we're going to be talking about beginner jazz piano accompaniment bass line. All right, so uh, let's shift over to the music and let me play it for you so you can hear what this sounds like. So uh, we've been doing the shells. We did the shells with the, uh, um, you know, alternate uh, kind of like shell fills, right, by adding in that extra note. That's what we did uh, in yesterday's lesson. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break up the shell into its individual root seven and we kind of create this kind of faux bass line going on. Works really well on standards, to, especially as you start to move faster. Like if I go... You see, these are just shells down there, but when I break them up like that, I can create a bass line and then uh, get something that, that works out quite well. All right, so anyway, let's do it over in a sentimental mood. Let me play it for you. And then here, I go down to the third and then the seventh. Now, it's important, uh, I didn't say this in yesterday's lesson with the shell fills, so let me uh, stop right now and uh, make sure you understand. Make sure when you're playing that thumb, you don't play the thumb too heavy. You don't want to do this. So make sure you're not playing that thumb too heavy. In fact, the thumb should be played lighter than the pinky, right? So it should be... Minor, C, F. And then you can also mix these together to start to create a more interesting arrangement. And that's what we're going to be talking about moving forward. Now that you have some of these left hand techniques uh, under your belt, now we're going to start to learn how do we play these together so that we can now start to change around the way that the sections sound and actually start to create some kind of cool jazz piano, uh, you know, arrangements. All right, so work this concept, practice this. All that's going on is rather than playing the shell all together, with like the root seven, you break it up, it's the root, then the seventh. These are quarter notes, right? So before this was played as a half note, now it's one, two, okay? You do not hold down the D when you play the C. This one, you lift, so it's, okay, it's not this. That's what we did yesterday, okay? So yesterday, we held down the chord and played just the seventh while holding down the root. Now today, we're playing just the root, then the seventh, root, then the seventh, root, seventh, or root, sixth, right? Um, all right, so make sure you practice that nice and slow, and make sure you don't uh, uh, play that thumb too heavy. Now, if you want to grab the uh, sheet music for this lesson, uh, just go ahead back to Jazz Piano Daily, dot com, right? Or go ahead and uh, take a look at the card that just popped up in the top right. And I like to encourage you, if you have any questions, need any help, write your comment below this video. I read all of the comments and I will be happy to help you if you need any help. That's it for me. I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson.